So how many TV box sets do you think I pulled out of that one mixed media Gaylord? Well, here they are. Count them up. Did you guess 58? Because if you guessed 58 without actually counting, you were correct, and that's phenomenal. So I'm Andrew from 510 Books. This is my channel. I'm a book and media reseller for eight years now. It's been over eight years. Can you believe it? Eight years ago in September, I sent in my first shipment of books to FBA, fulfilled by Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's another story. This video is about the TV box sets, the DVD TV box sets that I pulled out of a pallet or a mixed media Gaylord pallet of, yeah, of mixed media. Uh, and to share with you what I pulled out. I love TV box sets. I don't know, I've always liked them. They're more interesting than just DVDs in the sense of how they're designed, how they're put together. And I just love certain TV shows. So I enjoy going through them. I pulled out more than the 58, but there were some that were missing discs, a few that had broken discs, um, a couple that I come across all the time. So I decided to not keep them and just pulled the loose discs. But 58 after all is said and done. All 58 I have pulled out the discs, checked them, resurfaced a small percentage, maybe 10% or less. And if you're not familiar with resurfacing is, I'll show you the machine over there in a second, but I clean them up. So now they are all ready for sale. I just have to go through certain ones to see if they're worth more money than what I could sell them for in the store. Uh, there's a few in there I think that might be, there's one in particular uh, that I think might be worth some money because it's a complete set uh, of a certain show. So we'll see. This is the disc resurfacing machine I was talking about. You just put a disc here, face up, or you know, the, the playable side, silver side, close that, it locks, and for 30 seconds it cleans it. This little plate spins, these pads spin, some specific, um, what is it called? Water comes out as well as this white uh, compound and that cleans it up pretty good. So it could be CDs, DVDs, or excuse me, Blu-rays of course, or video games. I even have one to um, an attachment where I can put a smaller disc in there, one of the, um, the video game discs. So yeah. How much does it cost? It costs brand new about $1,200, $1,300. I got it for $1,000 because I traded in my old one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What's my favorite TV box set of them all? Something like that. Um, so there's only a couple in here that I have never had in my possession. Star Trek. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can you guess another one? Ah, this one. I've never had this one, which is Rick Steves show all 80 shows from 2000 2009 i think that's probably worth some money we'll see i'll have to look it up never had that one what about over here kitchen confidential i've never had let's see 30 for 30 i've had the first one but i've never had the second one volume two so now i have both of them this one i've never heard of or seen before i'll pull it out in a second and that's it these are two I've never had. This is from the Cartoon Network, so Adventure Time. This one I've never heard of, Ace of Cakes. Make it bigger, make it badder, make it awesome. Oh, cakes, right. It's just about cakes. Okay, well, probably not worth money, but we'll see. So this one, like I said, I've never had before. It just comes, I like when they come like this, they have a little sleeve, pull it out, and then actually it holds all of the uh, discs in there. The other one, the volume one, didn't uh, go for much money, so I just have it for sale in the store, I believe for three or four bucks. Uh, I think on eBay it was pretty, pretty inexpensive to purchase it. Let me show you the one that I like the least in terms of the design. And the one I like the most. So the OC. Never saw the show. But this one, it's not the sleeve. 
but it's the inside here, which I've seen a lot of them like this. It has this, this is the way it's set up. It's got these plastic containers or trays rather, but they break really easily. This one, they're really fragile. This one is still together, but they tend to break along the spine there. And then each individual tray comes loose and it becomes a big old mess. So that's my least favorite. Um, and the OC, I usually don't have too many takers on that. Unless I have, in general, unless I have the whole series of something. Now Mad Men, I like this one because instead of it coming out of the side there, it actually comes out from the bottom. And then it's sort of three quarters of a sleeve. And then you pull out the discs, the trays. Fortunately, this happens. This little hub here broke so that the disc doesn't stay in there. But that's one of my favorites. If you haven't seen Mad Men, I recommend it. I have a couple of sealed. Let's see, I have a sealed first and second season and uh, of Mad Men which is always good. I can charge a little bit more in the store if it's sealed. There we go. Yay. See, this doesn't want to go in there. There we go. So I'll put these all back. Does it look like a lot of TV box sets from one Gaylord 58? 58 sounds like a lot, but for some reason this doesn't look like a lot, although this is probably at least two boxes or i'm sorry a box and a half worth banker's box so it's not bad in general with tv box sets if you have the entire series of course you can charge a lot more you can sell it on ebay you can sell it even on amazon if you are ungated um, i've sold lots of tv box sets on ebay i prefer to have as many as i uh, i can fit here though especially if i have the full series i will sell it for uh, a decent amount in the store people will buy it like right now I'm close to having all of friends I'm close to having all of Seinfeld um, I have most of Gilmore Girls I'm looking over there now lost I have the first three seasons but I don't typically have all of them house I have most of them often what happens with the TV box sets is the later seasons are not as plentiful if a show is really big like a lost or friends or house or something like that the OC the first couple seasons maybe the first four or so maybe five but at least the first three or four they put out a ton of them but then as the show gets less and less um popular the longer it goes along even with a show like friends uh those later seasons tend to be in general not always but in general it's a good rule to go by tend to be a little harder to find and sometimes can go for more money i found ones for the first three or four seasons let's say out of six seasons are just you know normal priced and then the last fifth or sixth season uh one of them in particular can go for some really great money sometimes uh, i'll see much higher prices on ebay and on amazon so i know that uh, <clears throat> i can charge more here in the store for those because they are in more demand and there's less of them which is the magic formula <laughs> i'm probably what you would call a completist 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 completest because I like to complete seasons just complete things in, in general but um, when it comes to TV box sets I like to try to complete the whole series if I can of course for more money but just it feels good to complete a series and have it available here in the store um, considering that I am you know they're all used and well occasionally they'll be they'll be sealed but for the most part they're used and I'm getting them from uh, for the most part from um what do you call it pallets and gaylords uh, so i don't know what i'm going to be getting i can't control what i get and can't say oh i've got you know i need one more season of seinfeld um you know can i please order it which i could of course i could order it i was trying to sell it on ebay so for instance i have season one two three five six seven eight nine of seinfeld so i'm missing season four i believe there's only nine seasons Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I'm missing season four, so that would be, I believe, the whole series. 24 I have from one, 
to seven. Was it more than seven seasons? Check it out. I have it up there. Um, maybe it was more than seven seasons. But anyway, that's the first seven, which is always great. Even if you don't have, let's say it's nine seasons and you have the first seven or you have the first six. But if you have all of those, that could really be uh, enticing to somebody who's looking to start collecting it or, of course, to com complete the collection because I've had many people come into the store and they'll say oh you have season three. Oh, you have season five of this season one whatever oh now now I can you know watch the whole thing together or I was just look, just looking for this particular season so that happens often um, that people will come in and they'll grab just one particular season or they'll say I never tried this show I'll try the first season see how it goes come back for the others that kind of thing so um, so that's something <laughs> that I enjoy is trying to complete the series and uh, seeing yeah, seeing if I can do that um, just for pure joy <laughs> for myself and of course being able to offer the entire series in the store like I got Roseanne uh, the Roseanne show there season 1 and 9 so uh, we'll see if season 9 is worth much more money I know that show went for many years but um, you never know. Put those out. Maybe somebody will be looking for season nine. Um, but yeah, those are pretty popular TV box sets in general, not just in my store, but online. Of course, people love TV shows. They love uh, people that love physical media, uh, love to collect that stuff and have it at their disposal instead of, as of now, worrying about all the fractured streaming services and shows being dropped. Schitt's Creek was just dropped from Netflix and now it's up on Hulu. As an example of the ridiculousness of these streaming wars and battles that will continue probably for a while um, and instead of worrying about where it's going to show up and having to have 10 different <laughs> streaming services you know you can own some of the stuff that you really like but that's my two cents um, and that's why a lot of people continue to buy physical media so i am super glad that i got 58 tv box sets out of that one gaylor that's pretty good haul um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. And there's a few in there that might be worth a little bit more than the $3 that I charge in my store. And I know that there's a good amount of those that are already duplicates for me, but I'm hanging on to all of them, um, to plug in the holes when things sell. And if I get a certain amount of them, I'll just put them together as a lot on eBay and sell them off. Another thing I did is I pulled certain discs right here. Those are all ones. <clears throat> that for various reasons I pulled to put in a loose DVD lot for eBay. I already have, let's see, oh, here it is. I already have this stack for TV shows. See, we got the OC, we got Power, we got whatever that was, Stargate. So, so that combined with the other one here, I have a decent pile going. That's probably, I don't know, 100, over 100 discs already. Uh, so I will do as a lot, probably when I get about 200 plus together, I'll put a lot together on eBay. And uh, that's a great way if you're doing bulk for CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, of course, as well. And you've got a lot of loose discs, put them together as a lot on eBay. It can make you some pretty quick money um, just doing seven day auctions. I have one that finished two days ago. I have three, three others that are going right now that sh I think they're gonna finish tomorrow. Um, and I'm already compiling more uh, with all of the media that I got recently. Especially I know I'm gonna go through a pallet of 60 boxes of DVDs and I know there's gonna be a ton of them that I'm not gonna want to keep for sale locally or online. I'm just going to pull them, probably a high percentage of those, I'm going to pull the discs and make a bunch of different lots. You figure per box, there's 60 boxes, how many How many DVDs can I fit in a banker's box? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 10, 20, I don't know, maybe 75 or 80, let's say 75. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of DVDs, so I'll be able to do many different lots with that um, and yeah so that's a good way to make extra money off of things that you are not sure how to do that and it's worked much better for me than putting the actual whole DVD to get DVDs together like 20 in the case all action it takes up too much space 
it doesn't sell quickly, you can hardly get any money for it, it's not worth it. I don't recommend it. <clears throat> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I've been on YouTube for quite a while. I think close to, definitely over six years, if not close to seven years at this point. Uh, go back and watch some of my older videos when I was just doing uh, books and CDs, just doing Amazon before I started doing eBay. Totally different business model. Um, well, I just do different things. I mean, I, I do that as well, but in a different way. But anyway, um, so make sure and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions you have. And have a good one. Stay safe. Take care.